Hope you enjoyed this one. This is Sullivan Alex giving my live reaction video on the new CW series Vixen, which just premiered today. Premiered today, but Vixen is is only stream on on CW Seed, he, which you can only see available online. Now, unless you have the CW app, have you the CW app like for the series, like like. And this is a pretty and this is a pretty good monumental series. Hey, it's cause with with the success that they had so far with Arrow, and then the spin off the Flash, off with Grant Gustin from Glee. The 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 CW is getting more and more into projects about DC, especially with the upcoming series that's supposed to come this July, uh, this January, January 2016, Legends of Tomorrow, which is another CW spin-off of the Flash and Arrow. However, we have gotten word that. Uh, the CW is not is no longer going to be licensing more sp CW spinoffs. Now, yeah, but this is the age of DC, honestly, and they're getting more and more D D shows. And we even got word that they're going to bring back Constantine in on Arrow. After all, I heard the, the show did really well. The show and that that, you know, that Stephen Amell even wanted to talk to ABC about guest starring and with other other more DC shows coming coming this fall, especially with the renewal of Gotham. Uh, from and the new who and the CBS series that's supposed to be made appearance, Supergirl. Even though it's you know it Superman and even though Superman is not the star, we already got one show from that Smallville. W is you know Supergirl is a probably a nice look because we already got a lot of ma there's all there's a lot of male superhero shows out there. It's gonna be nice to see a female superhero in, in her getting her own show. I think there's not been a lot of excitement for. A woman, a female superhero, getting her own show since uh, Linda Carter was, you know, Wonder Woman back in the 1960s. But enough about me. Let's get straight to the point. Hey, Vixen. Oh, man, the animation for this is for real. Uh, 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 it looks like Vixen is making a for it. Oh, yes. Wow, this is just the high and did a whole chameleon thing. She caught the arrow. Nice. Working with a pink pants. She now has tiger abilities, a big jaguar. Yeah. Arrow's launching a whole barrage at her, but. And the flash is coming up from high. She outmaneuvered the flash. <laughs> Chameleon power. Nice. Her heels. She fell back on the building. Three days ago, he was in a okay. prison jail. Prison cell. Let's go. Go where? Your bail's been posted. By who? One jacket, leather, one knapsack, a strap torn, contents, $26 in ones and fives, one sketchbook, fashion design. Not bad. You looked through my sketchbook? I get bored. One technical pen and one necklace. That's pretty. Where'd you get it? Family heirloom. Give you 20 bucks for it. It's the wife's birthday. I forgot to get her something. I'll tell you what. Hmm, so can't, bucks. can't believe a guard's parting I mean, $50 for, for her hey, fixing necklace. Her necklace that gives her all the power. Is it your friend? You posted my bail. Not the father-daughter reunion I dreamt of, but... It's a good thing for both of us. You're not my father, then. Mm. I told you, no matter how many fosters you throw in front of it, I'm always going to be your pop. Gotta say, though, it hurt a little. You being back in Motor City and not looking me up. Sorry. I was busy getting thrown in jail. What if I did? So, what brings you back to Detroit? Job interview. Fashion design? The guy was a jerk. He said my work lacks identity. Which kind of makes sense, since I am kind of lacking an identity myself. So you stabbed him in the hand with a pencil? No, I stabbed him.
stabbed him in the hand with a pen. And that was only after he suggested I could have a job if I gave him one. Patty would be proud of you for that. She always secretly liked that you stood up for yourself. Doesn't feel the same without her chewing me out right now. She always gets so pissed off. I wish she was here right now. Me too. So, you find whatever it is you were looking for outside of Michigan? You can say it. My parents. So you find them? No. Nobody. I found nothing. Oh, no. Get with the necklace, bitch. Uh oh. There, there. Fifty-eight dollars inside. It's yours. Just. Oh. Please don't tell me this is gonna be like what happened with Batman's parents, right? This is gonna gonna be like precious. Oh come on. Ah oh, man. The thing is about this video, it's only four minutes long. Even though, even though it's not exactly completely action packed, it like opens the door to what could possibly happen. I'm gonna see more. The CW has more episodes like this, cause more dark greeting and with the same dark grittiness of Arrow, uh, but the same newcomerish his flow as the Flash. Hash. Even though the Flash is technically he has his own superpowers, Arrow has skills and he's not one to be messed with either. Anyway, I like to. I want to see more of this Vixen. And even though this is only just, even though this is just only you know the first ep episode. Even though it's just five minutes long, it's not that very short. Because CW Steed is known for having very short episodes, lasting le lasting only a few minutes. Yeah, man, man. Yeah. Yeah. But the, by here, that they're getting stars from both shows getting in on this. Stephen uh, L. and Brad Gustin will be repri will be reprising their role as the Flash and Flash and, Ar and Arrow on the show. Also, you oh, have Sister Ramon. Home from the Flash, who we all know from the comics as Vibe, Blue Ribbon. I definitely, I give this, I give this series, I give it so far, a free, three and a half out of five, because it's just the opening number. It's not the, I don't mean number. It like opens the door to what's gonna happen. And from what I feel, it looks like her, the man who adopted her, her, her stepfather is probably gonna die. All right, cause this, cause it looks like the scene straight out of Batman, Batman comics that we all know and love, where Bruce's parents is murdered. Uh, murdered, and she, and she, and he takes up the arts to become Batman to prevent man to trap. There's one man war against crime and every and being evil, but you know, but you understand the point. All right. But we all, but if anybody knows Vixen from the comics, knows that she was, she she was from Africa. She, how she had a priest. She was a father. She was the child. Uh, her father was the one who originally gave her the necklace. It possesses magic powers, and this is just an eye opener into the world of Vixen, cause we don't. A lot of people don't know a lot about Vixen, cause I'm glad that we got the show about Vixen, cause I remember I first watched her in the animated series Justice League Unlimited, and where she was the love, the new love interest for Green Lantern, aka John Stewart, and John Stewart is one of my favorite. Uh, this. Not to this how Jordan or anything, but I do like, I did like, I did grow up watching Justice League, and it was a good show. Dark, brooding, but still had, you know, but but still brought, but, but brought us a superhero team for the, team for, superhero team for the new millennium, and in the early 2000s. That's one of the things I like about Justice League. And the series, and I like the animation. It was off, it was top notch, the progression was nice, and it introduced her to a person who, who can go toe to toe with the Flash and Arrow, and, and still have enough energy to keep on fighting back. I mean, back. Very, man, very good. Dark progression. It was a bit, it was a bit dark, but it's slow. It's just giving us, it's not giving us the main product, but it's just giving us a sample. That's why I think, because if they give us something, that was a whole lot too soon, then people, if they see this, then people are not going to be interested as much, because if they get a small piece of it, this way they want more. And CWC, as long as you keep watching on CWC and online, and you get to see more of Dixon. And that's one of the things I like. And I also like that the animation it reminds me of the of the, of the old uh, of Young Justice, because the animation reminded me a lot about that. And I love and I love when they they have some guest voices there as Crispin Freeman doing voices, and that and he was and he's one of my favorite anime. A voice act, one of my favorite voice actors working on such as Naruto, oh, no fairy tale, One Piece, and more. So basically, now, that's all I gotta say. And Vixen was definitely a good. Sh this Vixen episode, good first impression so far.
I want to see what happens next. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the comment. Thank you. You know, the Flash and Arrow returns this fall. October, uh, Flash, October 6th. Arrow, October 7th. And Adam Smasher. Actually, and Legends of Tomorrow return. Uh, come make the premiere in January. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the comment. Subscribe. Thank you. This is Sullivan Alex gave my latest review of my first impression of Vixen. Bye. Good show. Nice one. Nice.